Legislators grill CIP Minister Balaban Danaban during a legislative session September 28, asking when the minister would push for autonomous region and a schedule for the Land and Sea Act. Balaban pledged to send the autonomous region's proposal for review during this legislative period. In response to a legislator's question on which bills will be priorities, CIP Minister Palabang said draft bills for basic laws and a push for indigenous self-rule will be top of the list. If he had to choose one, the Indigenous Autonomous Act will receive priority because the government is transforming its land development policy. A year has gone by since the new presidential administration took over. Many legislators are demanding a timetable for the passage of the legislation. The Indigenous Land and Sea Act is also on the agenda. If we solve the indigenous self-rule issue, then municipality reform will not make indigenous citizens of three townships in Kaohsiung County urban residents overnight. In response to the legislator, the CIP minister said the council has encountered issues and the Indigenous Land and Sea Act is still under discussion. The CIP has yet to finish draft enforcement bills for the Indigenous Peoples' Basic Law, as well as the Indigenous Autonomous Act, Land and Sea Act, and other laws to protect Indigenous intellectual property. Now that Balaban has singled out the Indigenous Autonomous Act, his abilities are soon going to be put to the test. TITV Weekly.